Hey guys, Movie Fan 356 here, and uh, we're going to start a new series of reviews for Halloween Horror Month. We're talking about Freddy Krueger himself, or as he's called in this movie, Fred Krueger, A Nightmare on Elm Street. A Nightmare on Elm Street came out in 1984, and is directed by Wes Craven, and is starring Heather Lankenkamp, John Saxton, and Robert Englund, and Johnny Depp. Um, yes, Johnny Depp's in this movie. In fact, this was his first feature film, so... This was uh this is how Johnny Depp got pretty much famous between this and the Twenty One Jump Street TV show. So, the plot of A Nightmare on Elm Street is I think we all pretty much know the plot. Even if you've never seen it, I think we all know what Nightmare on Elm Street is. But if you don't, it's basically about these group of kids who are all kind of dreaming about the same man. He's he's got a burnt face. He wears a brown hat, and he's got razors. Uh, he's he's got a razor claw uh, on his one hand. And he's trying to kill all these kids in their dreams. And that's basically what the plot of A Nightmare on Elm Street is. Now, what I think of Nightmare on Elm Street is I love this film. Now, there are, to me, there are, it's the trio of horror icons. I mean, yeah, sure, you got a bunch of, you know, popular horror icons that made a big deal in the horror industry. But to me, the trio has always been Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, and Jason Voorhees. So... Um, that's, that's, to me, that's the horror trio. And let's talk about, first of all, the directing is magnificent. I mean, a lot of the horror films that came out in the 80s were good, cheesy goodness. You know, cheesy, fun, campy films. And A Nightmare on Elm Street was more serious. It wasn't as campy as, like, a Friday the 13th was. Um... So Wes Craven is the master of horror. Some would argue John Carpenter, and I totally understand that argument. But, um, yeah. The casting in this film, Heather Lankenkamp as Nancy. And uh, what I think of Heather Lankenkamp as Nancy is I like her. She's a relatable character. She's, you know, we, we, we like her. I mean, she's very likable. Um, Johnny Depp, like I said, this was his first movie. He's playing Glenn in the film, and uh, I love Johnny Depp in this film. This was back when he was normal. He wasn't wearing a bunch of clown paint going, I don't think I deserve that. I might have deserved that one night. You know, he's not doing all that, all that kind of crazy stuff. Uh, so Johnny Depp was really good in this movie, and I like the character of Glenn. He's probably my favorite character in this movie, to be honest with you. Um, and then we got... <sighs> Robert England as Fred Krueger. Yes, Fred Krueger, because he's called Fred in this film. He's not called Freddy yet. And uh, this dude fucking made this movie. Like, if, it, if they wouldn't have got Robert England, I don't know how... The, I can't imagine how the movie would have turned out because casting Fred Krueger was important and they got the perfect guy to do it. Um, let's talk about the look of Freddy Krueger because the look changes throughout the throughout the series. The look in this film is probably the best look in the entire franchise. Uh, it's definitely the creepiest, the darkest. We can't really see him all the time. He's kind of hiding in the shadows uh, most of the time. Um, yeah, John Saxton as uh, you know Nancy's father in in the film. Um, I, I like John Saxon. I don't think he's a bad actor. I just, you know, he's kind of an asshole in this movie. In fact, in pretty much the whole series where he pops up in, he's kind of an asshole. But he's more likable in this one than he is in future films, I think. Uh, but he's still an, he, he's still an asshole. You know, he, he cares about Nancy. He, he wants her to be safe. Uh, but, you know, him and his wife are kind of having some problems, and he just, he, he he's kind of an asshole. Um, but I, I like him, though. John Saxon's performance was good. Um, let's talk about, uh, let's see. There's a lot of memorable scenes in this film, you know. Obviously, who could forget, my fav my personal favorite kill in the movie uh, is when Freddy Krueger pulls Glenn, he's, Glenn is uh, laying on the bed. He's got headphones in. Fred Fred Krueger pulls him into the bed, and uh, we just see blood, just gallons and gallons and gallons of blood just shooting out of the bed, up the walls, and it's just 
phenomenal scene. It's it it it's a famous horror scene for a reason. Um, another famous scene in this movie is when Tina, Nancy's friend, is getting uh well in in uh not in the dream world in reality in the movie anyway we see that she's like going on the walls and the ceiling and she's getting cut up and you know her boyfriend i think his name was rod in the film and uh you know he's just sitting there freaking out because he don't know what the fuck's going on because this is very early on in the film so yeah i mean just memorable scenes but Probably the scene that creeped me out the most in this movie is when Nancy's in school and she hears somebody in the hallway and if we find out it's Tina in a body bag being dragged down the school hallway and then she's running to follow her and then we see this other girl in the, in the Fred Krueger sweater and uh, he goes, Nancy, no running in the hallways. The, and she goes out of the boiler room, and that whole sequence creeped me the fuck out. Um, that's a great scene as well. Overall, though, Nightmare on Elm Street, phenomenal film. The writing's good. The directing's fantastic. The casting is excellent. Robert England and Heather Lankencamp in particular, and, and Johnny Depp. Um, so many memorable scenes in this film. That having been said, I'm going to give a Nightmare on Elm Street I, I'm going to give it a, a solid A. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, movies this uh, this month that are getting a lot of high ratings, but don't worry, there are some stinkers and there are going to be some rants this month. Um, a couple of them will be in this series. So, yeah. Well, guys, what do you guys think of the original Nightmare on Elm Street? Uh, do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think of Robert England as Freddy Krueger? Or uh, Fred Krueger, as he's called in this movie? That's all I can say for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.